here is what i'm trying to say look uh, if i if i say that i'm going to be unhappy if i if i never get to play like ben johnson okay that's unrealistic okay but uh, but my situation was that i know i can play like ben johnson i've proven it i can run as fast i can jump as i but then why am i and not getting that shot i was i felt like i was trying a lot of things i felt like i was really working hard and really busy and it just nothing seemed to be happening for me i was barely getting by on the salary i had the uh, company i was at was failing and it just things just really weren't working out for me I was devastated because I didn't have a job because I quit <laughs> to go to to go to grad school. I had no idea what I wanted to do, and um, was just applying for everything. Basically, I would like put all these barriers in front of me. Like, oh, I didn't major in this. Oh, I don't. I didn't have relevant internships. I didn't have you know the the personality. I, I had this invisible scripts that that Ramit talks a lot about you know um self sabotaging oh it's because i can't talk smoothly oh it's because uh, he has this amazing network oh it's because he was born in this family with amazing connections or it's because he went to that great school etc or it's because he looks good and he's 6 feet tall etc those kind of those were the kind of invisible scripts i would keep on telling myself i mean i would look forward i certainly had an idea of where i wanted to be but i i would try everything under the sun and and just you know hope that it worked and and it really felt that it should have worked and and just nothing seemed to be working for me for years i had no idea what i was going to do with the rhetoric major out of berkeley <laughs> and um i kind of ended up falling into jobs i did a temp job and then i started working in san, san quentin state prison during junior year i switched to urban studies which is like a liberal arts degree I mean I thought when I graduated I I really was quite worried cuz I was afraid what people were going to ask oh my god what is urban studies what does I even do like I didn't know what career I was ultimately going to end up with and um and I felt like um the only way I have to get ahead is just keep working harder and harder and harder and that's pretty much what I was doing before and that's not sustainable and uh, that not only that's not sustainable it's completely ineffective Uh, I was tens of thousands of dollars in debt, both student and credit card. I was making a pretty low amount. I was like, okay, well, I'm not, I'm not measuring up in the interview because I'm really strong on paper, but I'm not measuring up. It was sort of like a despairish kind of situation for me before. That's that's the I was seeing. It, it was not a happy. It's not a happy place to be in. There was actually a time in. I went on a group trip when my credit cards were maxed out and you know it was just miserable. It was a miserable time because every $5 purchase, every $10 purchase was was weighing on me and I knew it would be with me for years.